Hey everybody, welcome to the homestead. This week we're going to be fixing up the nursery section uh, of our sheep shelter we got here. Uh, we got a bit of a tragedy this week on the homestead that I'll tell you about at the end. Uh, but today's project, this weekend's project, is to uh, make a nursery for the uh, mother-to-be. Alright, let's get to it. This is one of those eyeballing projects. There's no need to get a tape measure out. I can just use them gates themselves to get the width between the posts. I'll make a perfect fit that way. As you can see, I'm not using any cement when setting these posts. It's because I'm literally on the fence for this project, pun intended. I'm guessing we're going to learn a whole lot over the next six months while we watch and learn from the sheep living in this section. So I want to leave this as flexible as possible and not permanent as possible, that way I can change it as needed. That being said, I still want to make sure it's sturdy. Time, our male sheep, I'm guessing is going to be pushing on this fence quite a bit trying to get in to see his ladies. Well, hey everybody. Well, here's the uh, two area nursery worked on for the sheep. As you can tell, they like hanging out quite a bit. Before I get into why I designed it this way and kind of the benefits as I see it and things I might want to improve on moving forward, I thought I'd go into kind of why we rushed into this and did it so quickly. So about two months ago, we picked up our first pair of wedged sheep. Uh, we got a male and a female. Um, time we still have, which is the male, um, and the female rosemary. Um, when we picked them up, we heard that the female was pregnant, but we thought we'd have at least a month, if not like two or three months, before she uh, became a mom. Now, within like the first week of us getting them here, she gave birth, which was extremely excited. We were really pleased. I probably have some a couple short videos up there on that. Um, however, tragically, Within the first week of her being a mom, she died randomly, kind of out of nowhere. And we were pretty baffled about what it was. Um, she's in the middle of the field. Her baby wouldn't leave her side. Um, it was pretty sad and everything. So we just wanted to get her off the property, or, you know, sorry, not off the property, but we wanted to deal with that situation as quickly as possible. So I dug a hole and buried her pretty quickly um, just so the baby wouldn't be around that anymore. In case there's any diseases or anything like that. Um, however, in the coming weeks, we did a little more research about the issue, and there's a handful of things that we probably should have actually inspected her for when she died to see, uh, you know, what caused it. Anywhere from um, an infected udder to maybe even have not ever passing the placenta or even having a second child which she never gave birth to and was constantly in labor. Or another possibility of time just kind of messing with her. We're not for sure. We kind of regret not getting into that with her, um, but lessons learned and um, pretty tragic. So um, with that, we did want to find um, some more females, one to keep time, uh, well, one to keep time occupied, um, but also to adopt this uh, new baby. So we had to bottle feed it. We did up finding two more females, which are here. They were also um, pregnant. Um, and when, within I'm delivering him here, within one day, the first one gave birth, um, this all black one. And then within four days, the second one gave birth to the white and black one. Now again, we were pretty shocked that they gave birth that quickly too, but I'm wondering if the hour long um, trailer ride down the highway is probably what jostled them loose, made him give birth earlier than they probably should have. Um, either way, it's been about at least two weeks, if not three or four at this point. Uh, the moms look healthy, the babies look healthy. Um, I don't think, I think we're past the scare of uh, any, you know, afterbirth issues with the baby or the, uh, or, or the mom. So I think that's all pretty good. We are having little issues with maybe them getting in the chicken feed and eating some stuff that we don't want them to eat, um, which we're working on. So every so often we notice that their droppings aren't, aren't the little pebbles like they should be. 
Sorry, I keep looking over there because time's messing with my rabbits and trying to poke a hole in the rabbit cage, so. All right, he's leaving him alone. Either way, all in all, it's pretty successful. So I do think that one of the big uh, benefits or, or one of the reasons why the moms were did so good um, is because of this nursery. Um, so I want to get into kind of why I did this way um, and the benefits I see it and then some of the issues that haven't worked out so good and I'll probably improve on in the coming months. So how I did this was I built two main sections uh, for, the, for the sheep. One here on the left is just a straight shoot going down this way. So it comes out about, about 30 feet off the shelter and it's about eight feet wide um, for it. The second one, which is the main nursery, what we're calling the nursery section, um, is much larger. Again, 30 feet out from the shelter, but it's probably about 30 feet wide as well, making a pretty big square. That way, uh, the moms have a nice big shelter area based off the recommendations read, plus also a nice area just to stretch their feet around and stuff. How I did this was, I built these openings um, the size of these gates right here. So I have one right here. Just a cattle panel. Oop. One gate right here, just, it's a regular cattle panel for it. You know, it's probably 20, 30 bucks, much cheaper than a regular gate. That just clips on. Again, it's kind of a temporary situation. Um, I'll build better latches as long as this keeps working out. <laughs> as you can tell, it's not working out. Plus I have another gate, cattle pen right here. They can block this off. All right, so the structure itself um, is probably pretty overbuilt um, for what is needed for weather and stuff, but these posts in the ground, it's really less about the structural support. It's more about letting me divide this up into the areas. So each post from this one to in the back is eight feet wide, which lets me use a regular cattle panel between these two. And with these being four feet wide each time, so I can cut up a cattle panel in half and break them up here. So what I did was when the moms gave birth, I closed the um, outside fence Plus then also put up a fence from here to that side, um, which meant that time always had a shelter to be in and he could run in and out and stuff like that. But also that meant that the females and their babies, the use also had a space um, they could relax in while coming out and stretching their legs. Uh, I think just the fact that they were able to lay down or not have to deal with time chasing them around right after they gave birth or you know messing with the babies, I think was a big, um, win in our books for letting the, you know, just the health of the mom and the babies. We kept them in here for about three to four weeks um, before we put them all together. And basically what the judgment was there was um, when we started seeing the moms kind of push off or kick off the babies, starting to wean them from feeding. Um, and from that point, plus also the babies eating hay and pellets, that's when we kind of felt comfortable that they were old enough to not have to be, you know, on their mom's side constantly. So for the last week, they've been out with Time, the male, doing just fine. He uh, leaves them alone for the most part. He's far more interested in the women and the adult use. So it's working out pretty good. But again, um, in the long run, I put these middle poles in here just in case, you know, two moms aren't getting along and they need to even be separated further. So I could have this, a divider back here, one right here, and then a gate in front of these two, and I can rotate out so that the moms can stretch their legs or be in here by themselves. So it's working out pretty good. Um, as far as the outside posts, uh, I didn't cement any of those in because I'm kind of wondering if I like the general size of it. I might extend that wall farther or extend this nursery out farther depending on how many babies we have and kind of how well the ground gets cleaned up. Um, the plan for the next babies is about a month before we think they're gonna drop again to close the section completely off, let the ground um, and all the droppings in the urine get a break for about a month. So just all bacteria and everything is completely clean. We'll put new fresh hay in there. Um, that way it's not sanitary, but you know, it's as clean, let Mother Earth clean it as much as possible before we possibly have a baby birth in here. All right, cool. Well, one last thing I wanna show you before I let you go is the hay feeder. All right, well, here's the hay feeder. I built a couple of weeks back. Um, you probably saw one of the videos back then. Um, it's working out really well. Um, a lot of the stuff I found 
at Tractor Supply or the other stores were pretty expensive for what they were. You know, I was upwards of 300 bucks for the cheap one and got only higher from there. So what I did was just got that cattle panel. Uh, I think just one total and then a rabbit tray and some angle iron. I think all in I'm about 50 bucks, maybe 60, depending on all the, you know, the welding gas and uh, cutoff disc and all that kind of stuff. But it's working out really well. It's holding up really well. Um, one thing I had to do though was kind of wedge it between two uh, four by four posts here because time, he gets pretty aggressive with it. He climbs all over it, sticks his face in it, tries to move it around, paws at it or hoofs at it. Uh, but it's all together, just had to lock it in place. So let me get a little more detail on that for you. All right, well, I'm gonna be squinting into the sun here, but I think that's all right. You guys can put up with me squinting at you. Uh, so I misspoke a little bit. It's actually two different cattle panels, uh, but I get, definitely got a lot left over. So uh, one of them here is just a four by four inch square, while the other one, which is cheaper, um, has the progressively smaller holes going from four inches tall to uh, probably six inches tall up top. But either way, still just cattle panel, pretty affordable. Um, this is just a, a two and a half by three foot removable tray that I dump out every so often. It just slides right in. Uh, I'll probably go through and drill some holes in it so when it rains, most of the water gets uh, dropped out. Uh, but for, for the most part, it's come out here. It's kind of nice to come out here, check the hay, dump it out um, as needed. I have been putting their pellets in here, which is working out good when it was split between the two sides of the nursery and he, time was out here. Um, but since time's been with them, he's pretty aggressive at the feeding trough and will push him away. The moms are pretty good at pushing him back or hopping in there, but the babies, they're not so much. They try every so often, but you know, he's, he's much bigger. So I'm gonna have to figure that out. But it worked great when they were separated. Um, but all in all, it works out good. Uh, next thing I'll probably do is put a little roof over this just so when it does rain, keeps this hay a little more stable. But you know, we're pretty far off that. We're, we're getting into spring here in, in three weeks or if not two weeks. So that might be a project uh, in six months. So I don't know if I completely mentioned this, but this is, this does allow for them to feed on both sides, leaving the moms in the nursery by themselves feeding, but it's also time to be out here on the outside feeding himself. Oh, here's one, here's one funny thing is, while well, the women are in the nursery, you could tell where time would walk around. Let me show you that real quick. I don't know if you guys can tell where uh, time like to spend most of his day while in the nursery. It's just the path right here. <laughs> Going back and forth. All right, y'all. Thanks for sticking to the end. As always, appreciate you. Let me know down in the comment section what you like about this project, uh, what you disliked, what you think I could do better, uh, and any, any other information you want to know about the sheep or any other products we have going around here. Definitely appreciate you. Y'all come back now.